Distinguished Representative of Azerbaijan has the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. At the outset, we express our gratitude to Ms. Karime Benon, Special Rapporteur in the field of cultural rights, for her comprehensive presentation and report. Again, it's the background of threats facing the world nowadays. It is critical to persistently stress the importance of promoting key values of different cultures, enhancing better understanding among diverse communities, and encouraging mutual respect. Azerbaijan is a multi-ethnic and multi-religious country. Ensuring cultural rights and the protection of cultural property have always been at the level of state policy in Azerbaijan. Representatives of all nationalities and religions live in our country in peace and mutual understanding. The multicultural dialogue in our country can be used as an example of peaceful coexistence between people of different religions and backgrounds, especially in current challenging time of multicultural values in Europe. Next month, Azerbaijan will host the seventh global forum of the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, and next year, Azerbaijan will also host the Islamic Solidarity Games. Ms. Special Rapporteur. The protection of cultural heritage, particularly in the situation of armed conflict, deserves much more attention of this August Council. The OSC fact-finding mission have reported on the intentional mass destruction of Azerbaijan's culture and Islamic heritage in Nagorno-Karabakh region of Azerbaijan and seven adjacent Azerbaijan districts occupied by the Republic of Armenia. That includes loot looting of museums, mass destruction of monuments and historical, cultural and religious significance, attempts at changing the facts on the ground. The sole aim of this policy, which continues to this day, is to rewrite the history of occupying regions on the basis of falsified sources. These acts are aimed not only against Azerbaijan, but also against the Islamic world and in general against humanity. Meanwhile, despite the atrocities and barbaric acts of Armenia, my country being committed to international law preserved Armenian cultural heritage in Azerbaijan. Ms. Special Rapporteur, could you please elaborate further on the effective imperative measures to preserve cultural and religious heritage in situation of military occupation and to put an end to the impunity of occupying power in this regard? Thank you.